Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn Class 9, Chapter 1, Real Numbers, Introduction. First, let us see definitions of different numbers. See here, natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, so on, etc. numbers are called as natural numbers. We denote natural numbers with the letter capital N. These numbers are also called as positive whole numbers. If you take these natural numbers and add 0, then the set of numbers becomes whole numbers. So among all the natural numbers, if you consider 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, etc. All these numbers are called as prime numbers. So what are prime numbers? The numbers which are having 1 and itself as a factor, such numbers are called as prime numbers. Next, let us see what is a composite number. The numbers which are having more than two factors, such numbers are called as composite numbers. See here, 4, 6, 8, 9, etc. All these are composite numbers. Next, we shall see the definition for integers. See now definition for integers. All numbers, both positive and negative numbers with 0 are called as integers. Example, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, all these numbers are called as integers. Integers are denoted with the letter, capital letter Z. See now what is a fractional number. If P, Q are co-prime numbers and Q is not equal to 0 and Q is not equal to 1, then the numbers are expressed in P by Q form are called fractional numbers. See here example 1 by 2, 3 by 2, minus 5 by 3 etc. All these are fractional numbers. If p value is less than q value then it is a proper fraction. See example 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 5. Here p value is numerator and q value is denominator. See here p value that is 1. It is less than q value 2. So all these are proper fractions. Next, if p value is greater than q, p value is greater than q, then it is an improper fraction. See example 3 by 2, 4 by 3, 5 by 3 etc. Next we shall see definition for rational numbers. See the definition for rational number. If P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0, then the number is expressed in the form P by Q is called as rational number. See example 3 by 1. That means 3. Or we can write 3 in the form of rational number means we can write it as 3 by 1. See next 11 by 2, its value is 5.5. Next 5 by 3, its value is 1.666 etc. So all these are considered as rational numbers. Rational numbers can be expressed as the ratio of two integers. So all integers and all fractional numbers are called as rational numbers. Next, we shall see irrational number definition. See now irrational number. Numbers which cannot be expressed in P by Q form where P and Q are integers and Q value is not equal to 0 are called as irrational numbers. Square root of a number which is not perfect square is an irrational number. See example root 2 its value is 1.414213 so on. Next square root of 3 that is 1.732 so on. Next square root of 5 by 2 its value is 1.58113 so on. So these are examples for irrational numbers. Irrational numbers cannot be expressed as the ratio of two integers. Next, we shall see decimal fractional numbers. See now decimal fractional number. If rational and irrational numbers are expressed in decimals, 
then they are known as decimal fractional numbers. See example, 3 can be written as 3.0, 5 by 2 can be written as 2.5, 10 by 3 can be written as 3.333 so on. Next, square root of 3 can be written as 1.732 etc. After the decimal, if the number of digits are finite, then they are called as terminating decimals. See now example 0.52 and 3.4152. Here, decimal after digits are finite. So, these are examples for terminating decimals. After the decimal, if the number of digits are infinite, it is known as non-terminating decimals. Let us see example 1.333 so on, next 2.1235, 1.2367 so on. So these examples are non-terminating decimals. See now, again if the digits after the decimal of numbers are repeated among themselves, they are known as recurring decimals. See example 1.2323 so on. Next 5.654 bar etc. are examples for recurring decimals. See next if the number of digits are not repeated they are called as non-recurring decimals. See example 0 0.5230500056 so on and 2.1234 so on etc. These are examples for non-recurring decimals. Recurring means here same digits are repeated among themselves. Non-recurring means the digits are not repeated. Now let us see what is a real number. All rational and irrational numbers are known as real numbers. Let us see examples 0 plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, so on. Next, plus or minus 1 by 2, plus or minus 3 by 2, plus or minus 4 by 3, so on. Next, square roots, square root of 2, square root 3, square root 5, and square root of 6, so on. Next, decimal numbers 1.23, 0 0.415, 1 1.333, so on. Next, 0 0.62 bar, 4.1203450061, so on, etc. All these come under real numbers. So, what is a real number means? All rational numbers and irrational numbers together are called as real numbers. Today, we have seen types of numbers and what is a real number with examples. Hope you are like this video. If you like this video please like share to your friends and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching